This poem is about the legend of Bellerophon, the Greek hero, and his attempt to capture Pegasus, the winged horse, the horse of inspiration. And the poem is called Pegasus. It was there on the hillside, no tall traveller's story. A cloud caught on a whin bush, an airing of bleached linen, a swan, the cliff of a marble quarry. It could have been any of these. But as he approached, he saw that it was indeed what he had cause both to doubt and believe in. A horse, a winged white horse. It filled the pasture with essence of solitude. The wind tiptoed away like an interloper. The sunlight there became a transparent hood, estranging what it revealed. And the bold horse coper, the invincible hero, trudging up Helicone, knew he had never before been truly alone. It stood there, solid as ivory, dreamy as smoke or moved, and its hooves went dew-dropping so lightly that even the wild cyclamen were not broken. But when those hooves struck rock, such was their might, they tapped a crystal vein which flowed into song as it ran through thyme and grasses down along. Pegasus, he called, Pegasus, with surprise of one for the first time naming his naked lover. The creature turned its lordly, incurious eyes upon the young man, but they seemed to pass him over as something beneath their pride or beyond their ken. It returned to cropping the varlets and cyclamen. Such meekness, indifference, frightened him more than any rumoured chimera. He wavered, remembering how this milk-white beast was born from the blood of uncanny Medusa, the nightmare-eyed. And at once, although its brief glance had been mild, he felt a cringing and pinched himself to make sure he was not changing into a stone. The animal tossed its head. The white mane lifted and fell like an arrogant whinny. Horses are meant to be ridden, the hero said, wings or no wings, and men to mount them. Athene ordered my mission besides, and certainly you must obey that goddess, he cried, and flung the lasso. The cyclamen bow their heads, the shikadas pause, the mountain shivers from flank to snowy top, shaking off eagles as a pastured horse shakes off a cloud of flies. The faint airs drop. Pegasus, with a movement of light on water, shimmers aside, is elsewhere, mocking the halter. So there began the contest. A young man challenging, coaxing, pursuing, always pursuing the dream of those dewfall hooves. A horse which ran quicksilver from his touch, sliding and slewing away, then immobile a moment, derisively tame, almost as if it entered into a game. He summoned up his youth, his conscious art, to tire or trick the beast, crisscrossing the meadow with a web of patient moves, circling apart, nearing and pouncing, but only upon its shadow. What skill and passion weave the subtle net, but Pegasus goes free, unmounted yet. All day he tried for this radiant creature, the more he persevered, the less he thought of the task for which he required it, and the ultimate glory. So it let him draw close, closer, nearly to grasp its mane, but that instant it broke out wings like a spread of canvas and sailed off easily overhead. He cursed Pegasus then. Anger arose with a new desire, as if it were some white girl to stretch Mount Master, exhaust in shuddering throes. The animal gave him a different look. It swirled towards him, circled him round in a dazzling mist, and one light hoof just knocked upon his breast. The pale sky yawns to its uttermost concave. 
Flowers open their eyes, rivulets prance again, and over the mountainside a wave of sparkling air tumbles. Now from its trance that holy ground is deeply sighing and stirring. The heights take back their eagles, shikadas are whirring. The furious art, the pursuer's rhythmic pace failed in him now. Another self had awoken, which knew, but felt no chagrin, no disgrace, that he, not the winged horse, was being broken. It was his load, his lord, his appointed star, he but its shadow and familiar. So he lay down to sleep. Argos, Chimera, Athene, in one solution were immersed. Around him, on bush and blade, each dewdrop mirrored a star, his riding star, his universe, while on the moonlit flowers at his side, Pegasus grazed, palpable, undenied. A golden bridal came to him in sleep, a mesh of immortal fire and sensual earth pliant as love, compulsive as the sweep of light years, brilliant as truth, perfect as death. He dreamed a magic bridal, and next day when he awoke, there to his hand it lay. Wings furled, on printless feet through the dews of morn, Pegasus stepped in majesty and submission towards him. Mane of tempest, delicate mien, it was all brides, all thoroughbreds, all pent passion. Breathing flowers upon him, it arched a superb neck to receive the visionary curb. Pegasus said, the bridal that you found in sleep, you yourself made. Your hard pursuit, your game with me upon this hallowed ground, forged it, your failures tempered it. I am brute and angel. He alone who taps the source of both can ride me. Bellerophon, I am yours.